The coronavirus pandemic has placed a tremendous stress on the U.S. healthcare system. Most recently, surgical masks and N95 respirators have been reported being in short supply. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, allows for extended use and reuse of N95 respirators. But are you knowledgeable about the procedures for safe reuse? My name is Dr. Jack Caravanos, and I'm clinical professor at New York University's School of Global Public Health. I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Bill Southern, president of the New York City-based environmental health firm, Microecologies. What we'd like to share with you is how to safely reuse N95 respirators during the coronavirus pandemic. There are many masks out there, but we'll focus on the CDC NIOSH approved N95 respirator. So the procedures we'll go over will be unpacking the respirator, properly putting it on, how do you take a drink, and of course, how do you remove the respirator and store it? So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is get hand sanitizer and thoroughly clean your hands. Even though the mask is brand new, it's, a good, it's good practice to always hand sanitize before. Reach in and grab it by the straps, and you'll notice what he's going to do is stretch it and put the bottom strap over his head to his neck and proceed to put the cup into his chin and the top straps around the crown of his head. Next, notice how he squeezed the metal clip to make sure he's got a good fit. And now, let's say he has to take a drink. Well, he's gonna hand sanitize again and taking a drink of water during the day, grab it from the straps, the top straps, and notice how he's gonna pull it away from his face and then take a drink of water. The contamination is away from him. He'll take a drink of water, okay, puts it down, and now he's gonna put the top strap back over the crown of his head, making sure the fit is appropriate. He did hand sanitize, so he can go ahead and adjust his mask. Very good. Now, what about taking off the respirator? Well, of course, hand sanitize, because the outside of the respirator and parts of your body may have contamination. And he's gonna proceed to grab the bottom strap, bottom strap, pull it far away, and then the top strap. Notice he did not touch the outside of the mask. He's going to get a paper bag, a typical sandwich paper bag, drop the respirator in, close it, push out the air, and then notice how he's going to squeeze it so that there's a tight seal on the inside. Of course, you need to write down who you are. You don't really have to do the front or the back of the respirator because it'll be a concave disc shaped sandwich bag and it'll be pretty obvious the front and the back and that's it okay so let's summarize bill comes in he grabs his hand sanitizer sanitizes his hands thoroughly then he proceeds to get his paper bag with his mask in it opens it up carefully reaches in looks for the straps and do your best not to touch the respirator. Grab it by the straps, and now he'll open it up. Remember the bottom strap first goes around your neck, then into your chin, up through the crown of your head. Now every time you touch the nose piece or your respirator, you must hand sanitize afterwards. Do this all day long. Thanks a lot, Bill. Well done. Reuse refers to the practice of using the same N95 respirator for multiple encounters with patients, but removing it after each encounter. The respirator is stored in between encounters to be put on again prior to the next encounter with a patient. Unfortunately, respirators are often routinely handed out to workers without a clear policy or set of rules. As health and safety professionals, we must remind you that their use, according to OSHA, should be part of a written respiratory protection program. Lastly, here are some do's and don'ts regarding reuse. 
Please discard respirators contaminated with blood and nasal secretions. Where possible, try to wear a cleanable plastic face shield in addition to the respirator. Always avoid touching the inside of a respirator. And lastly, use hand sanitizer before and after handling your respirator. Thank you for listening and please work safe and work smart.